Lottery is a legalized and regulated gaming that involves drawing of numbers for a prize. Lottery is often misconstrued as betting or gambling, though they may seem similar but surely different. Lotteries in so many countries have been used to develop infrastructures. The South African government in 2012 put the lottery share of funds to the country's finances at about 141.3 billion naira. It is also reported that 82% of the country's population play lottery at least once a week. In Nigerian government, through the National Lottery Act of 2000, established National Lottery Regulation Commission in 2005. Based on that mandate, there is an Act of National Assembly 2005 which established the uh, the body that is a uh, national lottery regulatory commission to regulate the lottery activities in the whole country in Nigeria. Section 57 of the Act's lottery or lotteries include any game, scheme, agreement, system, plan, promotional competition, or device for the distribution of prizes by lots or chances or as a result of an exercise of skill and chance or based on the outcome of sporting events or any other game, scheme, agreement, system plan, competition or device. Since its establishment, the Commission has issued licenses and permits to lottery operators and promoters to grow the market and bring it closer to the people. Today, lottery is gaining wide acceptance and the huge fellowship of football in the country has further widened its scope. I can say yes and I can say no because most of them play and win and most of them play and lose. You know, as Naira bet, it's a game of luck. It depends how you play your game, that's how you see your win. So if you play very well, you will win. If you don't play very well, you will not win. Uh, I'm JD because I don't have a, uh, work. Baba Jebu is helping me very well. Baba Jebu help you very well. Yes. At the play, at the win. He bring money to people, but at times, ah, uh, it's not. Especially that there are two type of bet manager. There is the one we are calling, uh, as in in our side. There is the one we called Kokoro, and there is the one we called uh, bet. So maybe you predict normal board that they normally play. So that Kokoro is just like. You play it and you see your results. So you see your results instantly, not go and come back. The global lottery industry is estimated to worth $70 billion. In 2016, it was estimated that Nigerians spent an average of 154 billion naira daily on betting, with 7.5 million lottery and 22 million sports betting players in the country. No, I cannot estimate daily, but weekly. Okay, weekly, how much have you been? 25,000, 10,000, depends on how, how we forecast and then we come up. Yeah, it's profitable, but it's not that you should now, you should be addictive to it, you know, but it's profitable. The days depend, like Mondays we don't have customers like that, Tuesday it goes like that too, but once it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a customer comes in. So they come, they play, and they go. I will encourage people to play sport betting and to stick with Bet Niger because we don't give you stories once you're winning, once you have your winnings, we don't delay your winnings, we'll pay your winnings, and that's just the best. It has reduced the rate of unemployment in Nigeria, even um, the rate of hooligans and hoodlums that you see outside there. Amidst religious beliefs, negative perception in the country, the acting director general of the National Lottery Regulation Commission, Adamu Mohamed Sifawa, says lotto or lottery exists in even more religious countries of the world. We try to make people to understand that there is a difference between lottery and gambling. We have to even uh, uh, tour those countries that are mostly Islamic to find out why are they doing lottery. We were in Morocco. Morocco is 99 Islamic. Yeah. We were in Niger. Niger is equally 99 Islamic. They have even some program that is attached some religious uh, connotation on it, like a uh, Hajj Lotto, where sit 
of Hajj are won every year, 10 seats. Through and, lottery? Yes, through lottery. This is in the Nigerian Republic. And what is also called Ramadan Lotto, where they use essential commodities yeah. that are often consumed during Ramadan. The people get into it and win one or the other thing. So that they are now relieved of the financial burden of getting the and government gets revenue, people empowered, the people benefit, it's a win-win.